welcome to this AV LAN review of the Wharfdale Diamond 121 loudspeakers. We're going to talk to you about the different technologies that go into making these loudspeakers, show you around them, and most importantly, tell you what we think they sound like. So these are the latest generation of uh, Diamond loudspeakers from Wharfdale. They go back many years. And they've had very good reviews, quite rightly, from a lot of the hi-fi press. Um, we've spent a few months listening to these uh, from when we first saw them. And they, they really are absolutely amazing for the price. Uh, there's nothing else, actually, that can touch them, we don't think. Uh, but here you can see they've got uh, this, this tweeter unit here that's sort of recessed back. It's actually only that little bit in the middle that's the tweeter, and the rest of it's just part of the uh, surround, sort of the, the front baffle for it. And there are 100 watts they're rated at, and they have a, a, a woven Kevlar uh, bass drive unit, which trickles down from their higher-end uh, Jade speakers. And the bass port for them, for them is actually at the bottom. Uh, it's that small uh, sort of slot along the bottom, which goes all the way around the cabinet. That's where the bass comes out of, because um, it fires down internally in the cabinet and then comes out there. Uh, but the, the finish on them, it, you know, it's what's to be expected, really, for this uh, price of speaker. Um, you can get them in uh, at the moment a few different finishes, which include uh, black, walnut, cherry, and rosewood. Uh, this is the walnut that you can see at the moment, uh, and there you see underneath the, the gap uh, where, where the, the sort of the base port is. Um, the cabinet on it's fairly st sturdy. There's there's not much resonance when you tap them, and they just seem they, you know they are well bolted together. Um, yeah, the, the actual finish, the wrap is maybe n not the most. Uh, elegant uh, but um, you know it's it's for the price you can't complain here you can see them compared to the bigger 122s uh, which have a bigger cabinet and a slightly bigger base drive unit as well the front baffle uh, there is um, it is actually a, I think it's an M a painted MDF uh, rather than uh, being plastic it looks a bit plasticky because I think it's wrapped in vinyl or paint you know the paints are plasticky sort of paint but it it is actually a, a solid uh, mdf baffle at the front now these are the grills uh, these can be pulled off and we very much recommend doing that for the tweeter because if you can see around the edge here this thick plastic here actually interferes with the treble and, and tends to really mess it up when we first listened to these we were really really unimpressed uh, we thought they were not very good at all and then we pulled the grills off and it made such a difference uh, it really does make a massive difference here you can see that the bass drive unit moving it's quite a long throw on it and it really gets moving uh, we were trying it out there with just a little uh, mini system uh, hooked up to it and it worked quite well they're bi-wireable which means you can have a separate run of speakers to the treble separate to the bass and you can use bare wire or you can also use banana plugs as well they come with the usual little plastic bungs which has to unscrew the terminals all the way and then prise out. They're particularly difficult on these. We found a Stanley blade was what was needed to sort of get them that little bit out so you could get your, a grip on them. Now, onto the pros and cons. Bass response on these, absolutely brilliant. The mid-range, the treble, everything. For the price, they really, our previous favourite we would say was the, probably the Darley Zenzo, which is still a bit cheaper. Uh, but yeah, they're worth going, you know, it's worth, very much worth going up to these. Um, with the regards to, to the, the cons, there aren't many, many, but we have to say something. Um, the grills. I mean, the grills, uh, you put them on by all means when you're not listening to it. When you're listening to them, please remove the grill from the treble. It may as well be a cap. It's that bad. It, 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 it needs redesigning, really, or something differently doing to it because it seriously impedes the sound quality. The other con, well, the next ones up, the 122s, aren't much more expensive but do sound even better, the bass response even better. But if you haven't got the space for them or you really this is you're on a tight budget, then if you can if you can stretch to these from, from things that are lower, then these are the ones that I would go for definitely in this uh, this price bracket. Uh, they are superb. They fill in even the largest of rooms uh, with with bass and, and, and they sound like a much bigger speaker. So we, we heartily recommend these. That's the end of our review of the Wharfdale Diamond 121 loudspeakers. If you'd like to see more reviews like this, or if you'd like to purchase these speakers, please visit our website, avlan.co.uk. Thank you.